little bit without further ado, please be a stinty new applause for the little dynamo herself. Here she comes. It's little Polly Pie Laser. <laughs> See the trouble I have with the mic stand. It's all my mother's fault. <coughs> Look at this. This is what can happen to your child if you smoke during pregnancy. <laughs> Five foot fucking nothing. My dreams of being a supermodel shattered before I'm even out of the womb. Do you know I'm still wearing children's clothes? This dress is from the Marks and Spencer's back to school range. <laughs> So, nice looking crowd, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I'll let you into a bit of a secret. Just to make myself feel a bit more comfortable, I'm imagining you all naked right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I allow you to do the same to me if you like. Just for the works, can you see that? So how are you all doing? You having a good night? Yeah! It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I must say, it's really good. I must say, I'm really pleased to be here tonight. I didn't know I was going to make it. I'm a cyclist. Jesus Christ, I'm lucky to be alive. I am alive, aren't I? Because it would be, be a bit shit if this was the afterlife, wouldn't it? I mean, Jesus Christ, it's all right for you lot, but I must have done something really wrong. <laughs> But yeah, I must say, it's, uh, it's been a good life so far. Can't complain. Well, apart from that bit of Down syndrome, but it's not true, don't I? <laughs> But yeah, I was, uh, I was lucky. I was lucky. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. It was only because I couldn't find a wire coat hanger in time. <laughs> in the 70s there were no dry cleaners yeah so uh, thanks God for giving my mother a guilty conscience didn't stop her fucking smoking though did it six days she was in labour she smoked the whole way through in the end I had to be cut out by the fire brigade knows what they were doing there. Apparently there was a cash stuck up there as well. <laughs> and when they finally got me out, instead of a birthmark, I had a Nicorette patch. <laughs> oh, I'm caught there. Yeah, my mum was some bitch. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being rude about my mum, I'm not. It's just that um, she has eight nipples. <laughs> it's quite practical that she had four kids and we all needed breastfeeding at the same time. A bit awkward though, sometimes I was 10 years older than my brother. <laughs> but yeah, the smoking has preserved her well. She looks really amazing for 75. She's 50. <laughs> and uh, my dad says she tastes like smoked haddock. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus, it's not, like, it's not like he would ever have gone down in her. God, no, Jesus, because like they're both Catholic. But just that sometimes he... Uh, likes to lick her face. <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh. Rich. Hmm. Oh, nice. So, um, I was, I was raised a Catholic. Yeah. Mm. It gives me the guilt and the shame every morning after a night out. So fucking boring. But I've decided enough's enough. Father Patrick. <laughs> From now on, you can use your hand. I'm just not going to feel guilty anymore about just waking up with uh, two blokes and three girls and an empty tub of I can't believe it's not butter. It wasn't. good Catholic girl, I was. I waited till I was nearly 12 to have my first sexual experience. Do you all remember your first sexual experience, yeah? Yeah! First cut is the deepest, eh? 
I was really in love with my first boyfriend, I was. He was a bit of a bad boy. I knitted him all by myself out of 72 balls of wool. God, he had a big dick. We broke up after I caught the bastard in bed with my grandma. Fuck knows what they were doing, but there were tea stains and Marietta crumbs all over me. Cut off his dick then and there. I had to, but I still have it. <laughs> I've always gone for bad boys ever since. Always the DJs and the boys and bands. I should really get myself tested. I think I might have caught HMV. <laughs> I get a bit depressed after we split up. I had to join a girls' support group. Well, there were nuns. Filthy habits. No, well, that's not a pun. It's not a pun. It's just that the Catholic Church doesn't allow dry cleaning. Too many wire coat hangers. And sin is a very difficult stain to wash out. But luckily there's a stained devil for everything. But to be fair to the nuns, you know, to be fair to them, they taught me to appreciate the simple things in life. I uh, went to give a urine sample recently. It's not something I do every day, but some child was glad of that on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna leave you with some good news. My sister's pregnant. Yeah, good for her. She gets to give mum and dad the first grandchild before me. But I'm not bitter, single, and 30 something. Because uh, I've still got my waistline. <laughs> Great tits. Yeah. And a tight pussy. <laughs> I've been qualifying, thank you very much.